The lamb who came for dinner. Vegetable soup again, moaned the old wolf. Oh, I wish I had a little lamb. I could make a hot pot, my favourite. Just then, it was a little lamb. Can I come in? The little lamb said. Yes, my dear, do come in. You're just in time for dinner, sniggered the old wolf. The little lamb was shivering with cold. Brrr, brrr, she went. Goodness gracious me, said the old wolf. I can't eat a lamb that's frozen. I hate frozen food. So he put her next to the fire to thaw out. The old wolf looked up a recipe for lamb hot pot. Mmm. He felt hungry just at the thought of it. The lamb was feeling hungry too. Her tummy rumbled. Rumble, 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 it went. Goodness gracious me, said the old wolf. I can't eat a lamb with a rumbling tummy. I might get indigestion. So he gave the lamb a carrot to eat. Stuffing, he said to himself. The little lamb gobbled down the carrot so quickly that she got hiccups. Hick, hick, hiccup, she went. Goodness gracious me, said the old wolf. I can't eat a lamb with hiccups. I might catch them too. But he didn't know how to cure hiccups. He tried throwing the lamb up in the air. Hick! That didn't work. He held her upside down. Hick! That didn't work. He twirled her round and round. Hiccup! That didn't work either. So the old wolf put the lamb over his shoulder and patted her back with his big hairy paw. The lamb stopped hiccuping, snuggled under the old wolf's shaggy chin and fell fast asleep in his arms. The old wolf felt funny. He'd never been hugged by his dinner before and suddenly he didn't feel so hungry after all. The little lamb snored gently in his ear. Snore, snore, she went. Goodness gracious me, whispered the old wolf. I can't eat a lamb that's snoring. The old wolf sat down in the chair by the fire, the little lamb warm on his chest, and thought just how very long it had been since anyone had given him a cuddle. He sniffed, then sniffed again. The little lamb smelt so, so delicious. Oh, groaned the wolf. If I eat her quickly, it'll be all right. He was just about to gobble her up when she woke up and gave him a great big kiss. No! howled the wolf. That's not fair. I am a big bad wolf and you are hot pot. Hot pot, said the little lamb with a smile. Then she pointed at the old wolf and said, woof. Oh, give me strength, groaned the old wolf. You'll have to go. He wrapped the little lamb up warmly and put her outside. Now go away, he shouted. If you stay here, I'll eat you and then we'll both be sorry. And he shut the door with a bang. It was dark outside and cold. The little lamb banged on the door. Woof, she cried. Can I come in, woof? But the old wolf stuck his fingers in his ears and went la 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 until she stopped. At last all was quiet. Thank goodness she's gone, thought the wolf. She's not safe here with a hungry old wolf like me. Then he thought of the lamb all alone in the dark wood. She might get lost. She might get frozen. She might get eaten. Oh no, what have I done? He howled. He leapt up and opened the door. The lamb was gone. The old wolf rushed out into the dark wood, crying, Little lamb, little lamb, come back. I won't eat you, I promise. Much, much later, a sad, soggy old wolf trudged wearily back to his cottage alone. 
He pushed open the door, and there, by the fire, sat the little lamb. You came back, said the wolf with a smile. Haven't you got anywhere else to go? The la little lamb shook her head. Uh, uh, then would you like to stay here with me? Asked the wolf. The little lamb gave him a hard stare. Not eat me, wolf, no, she said. Goodness gracious me, said the old wolf. I can't eat a lamb who needs me. I might get heartburn. The little lamb smiled and then threw herself into the old wolf's arms. Are you feeling hungry, Hot Pot? asked the wolf. How about some vegetable soup? It's my favourite. The end.